G'day mate, welcome back to Hyperthermia Not Included. Well, I guess it is included. I guess it is included this episode because uh, at least one of the dupes has hypothermia, if not two or three. Yes. Okay, so last episode. Last episode we managed to uh, knock out our water, our water up here, up here, and all the way over here, and it's slowly draining into our giant water tank. Um, we do have a couple of things we want to do. One is double up this wall, just in case which may or may not lead to some more hypothermia happening. We also upped our power, so now we have an actual coal generator, which is set to 100%, so the dupes will always come fill it up, because it's hooked to a smart battery, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the other thing we managed to do is we started getting up some basic things, but I realized I have a small problem. Uh, I realized uh, after having a look between episodes that um. Having my food over here is going to be a bit of an issue. So, first thing we're actually going to be doing this episode is moving all the food to over here. Uh, in fact, we're going to dig that out and we're going to set up a, another farm directly above it. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to be doing. Second thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be prepping for hatches. So, uh, actually prepping for a couple of things. So, uh, I'm going to want a storage bin over here behind my toilet. So, that's going to be critically important because I need to uh, put my polluted dirt somewhere. Uh, not only do we have outhouses making polluted dirt, but eventually we're going to need a sieve down here to uh, filter out the carbon dioxide. And it's also going to need somewhere to put that polluted dirt. Uh, so a storage container behind our toilets for the moment will get us out of trouble. Next thing we need to worry about is food, uh, because I have not a lot of calories, not a lot of calories at all. And um, we have a lot of mouths to feed, and that number's going to keep going up. Uh, in fact, I think our next duplicate is one cycle away. Yep, so we need to, every single time we see one of these broken tiles, dig it out. Hopefully it falls, uh, a piece of muckroot falls out of it. If not a piece of muckroot, uh, a hatch, because we're also going to set up ranching, hopefully in this episode. Now, to do ranching, I need skills. I need Mystic to have Astronomy Research because we're going to need a thingamajiggy bubble eventually. But Law. Law is currently a farmer but needs 448 experience to get up to Critter Ranching number one. So we need to make sure that we have the ranch prepped before Law gets uh, gets the experience required to start running uh, that ranch. So what I need to do is I need to plan out the ranch in advance which is going to involve uh, a door, a grooming station, a uh, critter feeder. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want two storage bins, another wall, uh, a tile above the wall, and, well, those three tiles are going to be filled in. And then from the front to the back should be 25 tiles. At 25 tiles distance, I put a tile up there at the corner. So that's going to be uh, our ranch, you know, after we get rid of this bit of mealwood. On top of that, I'm going to need a second ranch. Maybe even a third ranch. Uh, that, 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 that. We're just going to make this one the exact same. Uh, sorry, I want one of them. We still need to put in the critter feeder after the dupes get rid of the plants. Come on, there, there, and whoa, bunk off. Uh, one of them there. We're also going to up the priority on this side because I need to get all these plants moved out of here. So, as soon as we harvest something, um, we're going to hopefully transplant it over to our farms on this side. At least that's the plan. On top of all that, I need to set up uh, 16 tiles. I need to set up two more doors uh, for yet another bedroom. Uh, from there to there to there. Cut out that, cut out that, that, and those. Because, yeah, we're already at uh, seven out of eight beds, and I have another dupe, like I said, coming in point eight of a cycle. Uh, yeah, it's going to get tight here. Yeah very very quickly uh we we might have to start sleeping dupes on top of one another that that, that is always works as a possibility right uh so farms are set to eight this is set to seven dupes should be able to get it done reasonably quickly research wise we are ticking off currently 
uh, the water sieve. After water sieve's done, we're going to get the fire pole, um, just so dupes have better access up and down the base. Uh, I'm going to plan for two doors there. I don't know what I'm building behind here, because it does get warm awfully quickly, but we could probably put down a third, fourth, fourth ranch, fourth ranch. Uh, that works, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we need the dupes to get some serious building done. Uh, that's set to 100%. Yeah, that's set to 100%. So, yeah, between building, harvesting, building, harvesting, harvesting, and building, we, we've got some stuff to do. So, uh, let's just jump to it. Alright, the dupe's got a decent amount done. Decent amount done, at least. Uh, we need to choose our next duplicate. Now, Oh my god, we've got two choices. Okay. Uh, so, we have a doctor, who's useless. Or we have Abe, who is into building. Uh, who's also a quick learner, so he's definitely going to upgrade his digging with his building fairly quickly. Uh, shriveled taste buds, which is fine. And a bottomless stomach, which is definitely uh, undesirable. But, uh, as we're taking on every single duplicate... We need to welcome Smirk to the base. So, thank you, Smirk, for being a Patreon supporter. Welcome, base. I hope you live a long life. Uh, but at the end of the day, you are another expendable. So, skills. Uh, we can now put sk uh, Smirk straight into construction. Uh, same time, Saran can go into super hard digging. Law finally has his extra point in it for Critter Ranching. So, we can do that. Priorities wise, uh, Smirk is going to have one in building, actually, two in building, one in digging. We're going to give him a hat. I forgot to give him a hat. He needs a hat. Hats are very, very important. Uh, Schedule-wise, do need to make sure I move him to schedule number two. And then, hopefully... No, he's not going to get a hat. He's not going to get a hat. You're going straight to bed, are you? Yep, you're going straight to bed. Okay, so we're all out of beds. Excellent. Uh, at the same time, we do need... Uh, this is going to be super important. Put a drop off right there. Priorities wise, we need this done. Well, now. Uh, I need to start getting the critters all popped away. So we're going to up the priority on those. Uh, most of these plants are gone now. Uh, that one just got harvested. Go high priority dig on that. And also, can we please, like, if you guys get to dig out a floor. Can you replace it? Sheesh. Like, again. You guys have realized you've taken out one floor tile and you're now missing on two morale bonuses. Okay? Because this is no longer a, a latrine and that is no longer a great haul. Because you took out one tile and couldn't be bothered to replace it. Idiots. Uh, so... We need to get this up and running, at which point we can move all the hatches into this wonderful, wonderful little uh, cage for them. Uh, what was that? That was 25 tiles, right? Yes, so I also need to dig that out eventually. Uh, Friday 7, everybody ignores me? Awesome. Well, that's also 7. Uh, we can drop those to a 6. Yes. Uh, this is also going to be important. This is going to sweep all, the, all and everything. And I need to sweep everything between here and here. Which is hopefully not a lot, because hatches will eat it. Uh, I need to turn on hatches and hatchlings. We're going to have six of them, please. Auto wrangle surplus. We're going to feed our hatches uh, sedimentary rock. The uh, reason we're going to feed them sedimentary rock is they uh, have a higher chance of turning into a stone hatch if they get fed sedimentary rock. Uh, we're going to copy that to there, there. So this is sweep-only bin. It'll take in everything, but only if it's marked for sweeping. Which means, hopefully, this sandstone will get picked up and shoved in that box. At the same time, it now means ranch, uh, capture critter, rather. I can grab... Hang on. We want to grab the ones that are out of our uh, kitchen first. That's going to be pretty important. Uh, so there's two in there. There is none in the bathroom. There is none in the bedroom. There is one down here, I believe. Yep, there's one. Uh, there is two. Two in there. So we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the first ranch full. Yeah. So I built two of them. Uh, we need to level that off, which means the dupes need to get up higher. 
Uh, we're going to lock that door so you stop running through the top of the door because I'm not a fan of it. I uh, actually only need to dig out those few. Uh, nope. Uh, that tile needs to get filled in. Uh, from the start to end should be 25 tiles. Okay, at 25 tiles means, room overlay, uh, you're currently 98 tiles. So once that one's filled in and that one's filled in, we'll go down to 90, uh, 96 and then 95. Perfect. Uh, 96. 96. Somebody just took out a tile. 97 tiles. We need this one done. Okay. Uh, we're going to copy settings. There to there. Copy there to there. Copy there to there. Copy there to there. And same time sweep everything between there and there because I don't want the hatches just eating everything because that would be bad. And is it night break? Is, is it night time again? It's night time again. Okay. So we have uh, probably nine, please. That one, that one. Uh, those two as well. Those two as well. Uh, and then after these are harvested, that should be just about it. Uh, copy those. Idle? Idle? Oh, Mystic. There's always one. Uh, look, just dig out that that and that there's always one like you deter oh, that's another hatch that's another another hatch you you determined to kill yourself aren't you okay uh we can dig out that tile as well all right so are we on top of things not really are we doing better eh, ask me ask me in a cycle or two all right we're gonna dig out this as well because there's no reason why we shouldn't uh, next bedroom is partially done. You're going to be set for... I really wish, okay? It's, it's one of the things I really wish Oxen included. In, in all the time I've been playing, added just a search box. Just Can I just type in polluted? P-O? P-O for polluted dirt? Just, just, it would make my life so much easier. Uh, just having a nice little quick search box. Just, just so I can type in a couple letters of some of the weird things that we need duplicates to deal with. Uh, that door's locked. Uh, that is a priority seven that's the primary uh primary hatchery secondary hatchery uh now of course it would help if you guys actually put some food in there uh, that would definitely help feed the hatchies because they'd be much happier then uh probably nine i want to do everything between there and there so we've only got these two left which are 99 percent each we have hatchery number one hatchery number two First one's full, second one is... Hang on, let's double check. Uh, no hatches in there. No hatches in there. Two hatches in there. Uh, research is done. Research! Uh, okay, so we have the water sieve, which means we can definitely set up a sieve for our, um, our toilets. We should also... Where is gas pipe? gas pipes gas pipes we also also can set up a, a carbon skipper down beside our um our coal generator next thing we're going to need is definitely going to be the fire pole which also means down here we can throw in that carbon skimmer that i just spoke about uh, actually do I want it on that level or do i want it no we're going to put it on this level i can put it lower Yeah, let's put it all the way down here. Uh, also put in uh, refinement. I want a water sieve. Uh, input, output. Yeah, that's going to be nice and easy. Build a floor underneath. Grab a power cable. Run that to there, to there. We're also going to need, because I haven't set it up yet, not outhouse. I want a pump uh, with a bit of piping. Uh, okay, so... Output to input, input to output, nice and simple. Uh, how much water do I have to feed this? That's already going to be too much water. Okay, I need to get water out of the pump to here no matter what. So then if I put in a liquid bridge, that should fill up every single one of those... Uh, 
those bits of plumbing. Let's go through the outside wall. That should fill up every single one of these pipe segments with water. And then I can cut the pipe and then do the rest. Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, we can also do that with that and that. Okay, so we've dug out. Hang on. Where were we? We were trying to catch, capture hatch, hatches. Uh, no hatches. No hatches. Uh, no hatches. That is not a bedroom due to the very high ceiling. Uh, we're going to dig that out as well. Uh, catch me a hatch. Catch me a hatch. No hatch. No hatch. No hatch. No hatch. Wow. Uh, okay, so we've got one hatch caught. Uh, one down here. Wow. I thought it would be a lot higher. Uh, grub fruit seed. Mm, which are these guys? We'll, we'll get to them not so good not in a little bit. Uh, I don't know if they're edible or not, or tasty. Well, I don't care if they're tasty, as long as they're edible. Uh, also, there's definitely a hatch up there. Okay, so that is hopefully food semi-sorted. Uh, I need to dig out those. Okay, so we've freed up. First hatchery is full. Second has at least two hatches on the way when a duplicate gets around to it. Uh, and then we're growing some mealwood. Hopefully it's enough to keep us in a positive. Uh, at the moment we're, we're eating mainly muckroot. Like lots of muckroot. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's fine. It's enough to get us up and running. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to start planning for our next, pro next project. Because we're going to be moving fairly quickly at all times all right what i want to do is i want to on the grand scale of things we need to go to four places okay we need to go to the top of the map to get to space because this is the spaced out dlc on top of that we need to go to the bottom of the map bottom of the map is where we hide oil the other two places we need to go is to the far left and the far right mainly to sort of get our bearings also to do a bit of an explore and it is way easier going left and right than it is going north and south now on my digs, I'm going to run into all sorts of issues for my duplicates. Uh, we're going to run into polluted, uh, polluted biomes. We're going to run into uh, hydrogen biomes. We're going to run into chlorine bio biomes and all sorts of other things. I don't have a really good way of sorting those or, or dealing with those yet. Uh, ideally, a, a, a storage tank would, should be enough to get us started. Uh, but I think for right now... We're going to go with... That's food. We're going to go right there. Uh, that's the other big thing we're going to be getting a lot of doing this. Lots of food. Uh, as for oxygen, we're just going to run a power cable. Uh, actually, I need it. It's two tiles high. Uh, two tiles. Thanks. Uh, we're just going to run a power cable. And I'm just going to bring deodorizers with me. Uh, grab that... Sure. Uh, in fact, the dupes can just jump straight up ladders to there. Yeah. Uh, it's get it's it's going stale. We we're gonna have to get up there in a hurry to eat it. Uh, because it's pretty important we eat everything. Uh, lettuce. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's that cleared out. They're all scheduled to be planted. Uh, there's not a lot else we can do. Oh, crap. Uh, I need to replace the floor in that. Which probably means I need to do the same there. And then if we decide to have another hatchery here, I need to also replace that. And you know what? That could be a hatchery as well. Uh, what else is... Let's, let's replace that tile, that tile. Uh, that's an egg. I'm just going to wait for it to hatch, I think. Um, after it's hatched, we can then capture the hatch. Uh, okay. There, there, there. Uh, nobody's done this. Can I up the priority on that, please? Because, yeah, they're going to be more, more intrigued to explore than they are to save their own lives. Because they're duplicates, let's be honest. Alright, no research. Uh, that's good. That means we have fire poles. The only other thing I think I need is incubators. Yes. All right. Uh, we're going to get rid of the battery. I need the manual generator just in case. That is my... Oh, actually, no. 
Let's get rid of... Oh, it's almost, almost discharged. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, fire pole, level 7, all the way up to there. Right, I'm just going to knock that out. Uh, so they've done this, which means that should have populated with water. We're now going to use the sipping tools. It's the only mod I have installed. Because oh my god, it should be it should be part of, part of base game at this point. Uh, the ability just to be able to disconnect two things. If I if I take a bit of wire, and I have two bits of wire, I can any time connect them up, but I can't disconnect them. It should be part of base game. It should be part of base game. It's not yet, but it should be. Trust me. All right. Uh, so we are. Hooking up this, this will get the carbon skimmer running. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any way to actually automate the carbon skimmer, the skimmer. so it's just going to run at all times. But that's because because it's stored below uh, the coal generator. That should be fine, uh, and that should just run in a continuous loop. It should just empty. It should be enough water that it should just run for good. Uh, research, research, research. Long commutes. Yeah, long commutes is not going to change in a hurry. Uh, and oxygen up here is pretty bad. Uh, okay, we have, uh, let's duplicate number nine. Nine! Alright, so we have research and cooking. We have rocketry and farming. Uh, we have rocketry and tidying. Uh, do we have a chef? We do have fry guy, don't we? We do have a fry guy. Uh, you already have a fry guy. I don't really. I, I don't really want to replace fry guy. Fry guy is pretty important. Uh, tiny starts with plumbing. So you're going to be just one. Oh, fuck. oh, that's natural gas around the place, which I'm going to have to deal with. Um, rocketry farming. Slow learner. Can't build. See, I take researching and cooking. They're a quick learner, so they're going to learn the other tasks that we need them to do reasonably quickly. Uh, so they've got plus three to uh, science with an extra plus three to science. That's plus six. So whatever we give them, they're going to learn it fairly quickly. Whereas Liam has slow learning, so it's going to take him ages to level up. Yeah, no, after I've spoken through it, we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to go with... Asim of Nexus. Asim of Nexus, uh, thank you for being a wonderful Patreon supporter. Welcome to the colony. Uh, I hope you live a long life, but at the end of the day, you're an expendable. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Uh, Nexus. Nexus can do grilling... Or research. We're going to throw them straight into research. Uh, same time, Panic, who is going to end up being a Metatronics engineer. Right? Uh, no, but it could be a backup engineer. Uh, what are your skills? No, there we go. Uh, construction minus three. Excavation three. Machinery four. Uh, athletics 2, strength 2. Yeah, we're going to put them into tinkering. We're going to leave them with a carry hat, I think. I'm not going to change their priorities. We're going to put Carpe, who has construction of two and, uh, 7 and excavation 2. We're going to give him hard digging, because we're about to do a whole lot of digging. And Nexus is going to have, I guess, a research hat. Um, uh, schedule, got to move him to his own schedule, uh, we're on the schedule number three already, yay, uh, and priorities, Nexus, you're okay at research, so you can do research, we're always doing research, okay, you can do research, and then you can do a backup in, Actually, probably supply. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the plan. Uh, okay, so you're ready to go after those tiles are built. Uh, the CO2 scrubber has filled in all that water, so it's also good to go. We can just decon all that. A dupe will get to it, and we're not in a particular rush. We have... What's wrong with you? Fertilization. No dupe can be bothered. No dupe can be bothered. Uh, can we go kind of look at uh, priorities? Uh, farming. Farming supply. Whereas supply... Fa has farming supply. Okay, so I want to put... Nexus, yeah, on supply. Who else? Uh, you're an operate supply. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Carpe. I'm looking at the hats. Uh, panic. Panic is on supply. Operate. There's nothing to operate. So, yeah, they should do a lot of supplying, hopefully. Uh, we need to... I've only got two critters so far. Okay, uh, we should also double check, double check. Uh, just make sure everything's marked for harvest. You know, if we find some food, we should definitely pick the food. Alright, oxygen is getting poor. So we're going to, and this will be something we'll do constantly, uh, just add a little bit of uh, oxygen on the way. some mismanagement um yes uh uh we're gonna need we're gonna need the mopping team uh out here at full swing because i didn't put in any water breaks uh yes uh priority please for that tile and that tile um yeah it's it's episode three and we're already into emergency zo zones uh yeah uh yeah, 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 yep, 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 okay. And then mop. And more mopping. Just, just mop it all up. It's fine. Uh, it's, it's, it's only a little bit of ickiness. Yeah, okay. Uh, side note, we've, we've got more research done. Uh, we've got the hydrogen generator, plus we also have the incubators. We're going to use a whole bunch of un unpowered incubators uh, for our hatches, and... Research wise, I don't think there's anything else I want. Inside of tiles? Yeah, inside of tiles might not be a bad idea. Um, although, we're just digging out to everywhere. Nah, let's play it fast and loose. Okay, uh, we're just going to come to research and I'm just going to tick off everything. Um, I'm going to start with the really important things like the food juicer, which is absolutely pointless. Uh, and hopefully somebody mops this up. Anybody? Oh, there we go. There we go. Mopping has started. Uh, it's, it's only a little bit of muck. Yep. Okay, so out on the left we've found a salt biome uh, and our first uh, volcano, volcano of some sort. Out on the right we've found, actually we found a volcano as well. Uh, we're also going to introduce some hydrogen into the base. It's fine. It should find somewhere up here to float to and be happy. Uh, that's about it. So I guess we're just going to, oh that's nice, that, that lines up beautifully. Can't argue with that. Uh, we're gonna drag our power cable. I don't know if we need to bring power cable anymore. Um, this side, probably. In fact, you're probably up for another diffuser. Because hydrogen is not very breathable. Uh, Carpe DM. Wow, you be slow. Uh... Skills, skills, skills. Athletic, still minus three. 
he, he's got two two levels. He has leveled up. Uh, we haven't found any more hatches. Probably nine mop and mop. They're, they're, they're putting an edge on the torrent of water, at least. It's not expanding. Right, copy that to there. Copy that to there. Uh, hatches are cramped. Six out of six. Why are they cramped? Nine. Oh, we're not moving the eggs out. We're not moving the eggs out. Uh, I need... Refinement? Medicine? Furniture? Ladder bed. Ladder bed's a new thing. It provides a sleeping area for one chip that also functions as a ladder. Uh, what did that need? I don't remember what category it was under. Uh, refined metal. Okay. Okay, uh, stations, no, utilities, automation, food, incubator, there we go. Oh, that also needs refined metal. Uh, gold amalgam, how much gold amalgam do we have? Oh, we've picked up all these new things. Uh, let's open, see all list. I want gold amalgam. Uh, 300 kilos. 53 tons of copper. Uh, we're going to go with copper ore. We, I, I know it's lossy, but, you know, actually, we'll, we'll start with 20. 20 of those. Uh, that should get that running. Uh, the torrent of pea water hasn't slowed down, but, you know, we'll just we'll just put the mopping team at it, and they'll get there eventually. Uh, as long as it doesn't overflow into our water, our clean water supply, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, I was thinking about building this ladder through to, you know, give us better access, but maybe that was a bad idea, which I'm glad I didn't follow through through with. All right, and no, I have no way of copying and pasting that without having the materials. Another thing that, like, I really wish I could just plan ahead. I just wish I could plan ahead. All right, uh, we're going to priority up that, so at least that'll start pumping oxygen into... A fairly high pressure zone, but that's okay. Uh, and I guess the only thing to do is just let the jeeps get on with it still. So we'll just give them another cycle or two. Okay, so we have duplicate number 10. 10. Uh, going through my list where I've already got the name pre-selected. Know what the name is. Don't know what duplicate we're going to have. So we have uh, tidying, building, doctoring, nothing terrible. Uh, we have researching and cooking. We already have one of those, definitely. We have cooking and digging who also can't build. Well, it's going to be uh, Travaldo, who is going to be re renamed to Navy, uh, who is going to do, well, building and tidying. Um, probably building? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but welcome to the colony. Uh, d welcome to the colony, Navy. Thank you for being a lovely Patreon supporter. Uh, welcome to the colony. You're going to be fine. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. <sighs> we don't really need tiny. I guess it's going to be straight into construction for you. Uh, we also have uh, Ward has leveled up. It's Metatronics, so we're going to throw you straight into tinkering. Fry guy. Well, I guess we haven't started cooking anything yet. Uh, so we're gonna throw the morale, uh, the skill points in there. We're gonna set up the. Actually, we're not gonna set up the grill. Uh, okay, so we're gonna set up that. So if we can cook it, we will cook it. Same with the fried mushroom. Same with frost buns. Not we've found any frost buns yet. I haven't turned on the micro musher because life life just costs a lot of water, and we don't have renewable water just yet we've also got a couple of incubators set up 
Uh, did that not copy across? Uh, copy settings, paste, paste. That does not copy across. Awesome. Uh, sage egg stone hatch. There we go. We want a few of those. Uh, no, I don't have enough refined metal. Uh, that's still set to 10. Let's set that back to 20. Crank that out. Uh, we also have, uh, we've reached this volcano and we've actually got very close to this one as well. So let's dig the rest of the way that way. And those two tiles are safe. We'll grab those two tiles as well. The mopping team has done a pretty good job. There's still a little bit of mopping to go, but they've got it mostly under control. Uh, oh, uh, schedule, schedule, schedule. And priorities. Uh, Navy goes to pro number three. Priorities. Navy is going to be in building. Yes. Yes. And as for oxygen, well, let's face it. If they breathe the polluted oxygen, uh, it, it's just solved and dealt with. So we're not even going to put down deodorizers. We're just going to let them go. Uh, Research-wise, we have finished... Uh, the very important juicer. We're working our way through the natural gas generator. Uh, the advanced combustion. Not that I'm anywhere close to actually having a rocket uh, or seeing space. Uh, along with the polar press and the oil well. On this starting asteroid, I should have oil wells. I don't get a guarantee of... Cannot continue, it's just one off. Uh, I don't have a guarantee of getting oil. But I should get should uh i should get um oil wells uh that's a cold cool salt slash geyser okay so that's brine at minus 10 degrees which i have no way of dealing with currently but it could be handy uh i'm also going to set a mop up there then if i'm going to be dealing with salt water up in this corner I uh, also need to capture some poke shells. I want to breed some poke shells. Uh, harvest ready. Uh, can we harvest? Eight. There's lots of food on the map. I love finding free food. Our calorie, calorie situation hasn't improved yet. Uh, okay, oxygen wise, we're doing great. Uh, we'd be doing better if there wasn't a gap there. Can I set you to granite? Uh, drag you. No, I just got one out. Uh, I need to up the priority on those. Uh, okay, so you are cramped. You're also less than happy. Uh, all the eggs. No, another egg. We could finally put this egg somewhere. It has made it all the way to 75% all by itself. Uh, from us just ignoring it for long enough. Alright, cool slash geyser and I don't know still. Uh, are you guys finally happy? You're finally happy and groomed. So, we should be able to sp store 10 critters in this room. It's set to six. It's set to six because I have no automatic way of bringing the eggs out of the room yet. As soon as we get Metatronic Engineers up and running and we have some like refined metal that we can actually use, that will be high on the priority list. I, 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 I do like the fact that we can get, uh, get the eggs shipped out as quickly as possible and as automated as possible. Um, so, I think the only thing to do is... Uh, Give them another bit of time. No, a little bit of zoom out. Uh, yeah, give them a bit more time to get this end done. And maybe tidy up a little bit. Yeah, tidy up a little bit. Okay, so the tidy up team has done. We even have idle duplicates. So, we're going to send them straight over here. I can dig out those tiles safely and find out what that is. Uh, at the same time, I think we're going to do a general scraping of the ceiling. Uh, it 
sure of that. Is there any reason not to do this out? No. Alright, uh, priority wise, let's give this a nice eight. We'll set the volcano back to five just in case. And uh, we have another couple of incubators set up. We haven't found any more hatches. We do have a couple of tiles up here that I could possibly dig out to confirm if it has any hatches in it. Uh, and a couple of tiles here. Not many. Not many. Not many. Uh, the mopping team has finished mopping. We're going to leave these blocks in just in case. Just in case. It's, it's good to plan for future duplicate P mishaps. Uh, there's also a couple of tiles in here where I might find either emergency food or emergency hatches. Uh, as for over here, we have a another cool slash geyser. So we have two slash geysers. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, I have dug... Well, let's just double check. Uh, oh, there's another volcano. Oh, that's the edge of the map there. Well, that's good to know. Which probably means... I know, we've got a little bit more to go on the left. Um, Alright, so it means probably in the next episode, probably in the next episode, we're going to go probably a bit more north and south. The cool slash geysers does do mean that I don't have to worry about the heat from this biome anymore. I can just flood it, potentially, with a slash geyser. Uh, obviously, barm lilies would be very, very handy. I think we're going to get a Draco farm, because... That is a lot of bomb lilies and Dracos. Uh, we open up the uh, the the the, the Jupiterpedia. I think it's called a Jupiterpedia. They do eat bomb lily. Now, Dracos with bomb lilies are a self-perpetuating cycle. Bomb lilies require nothing, N maximum radiation. Okay, I don't have to worry about maximum radiation. They just require to be living in chlorine. So we do need to have ventilation. Uh, we do need to have... I don't have access to the ventilation yet. Let's just click on some of these things so they go away. Uh, I am... More things. More things. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, the power shut off. Uh, have all this tech that is absolutely useless. Like a juicer. Uh, temp shift plates. Temp shift plates might come in handy. Uh, okay, so... What I need to get uh, Draco set up is I'd need a I'd need a hatchery, okay, uh, a Dreklet hatchery, a Draco hatchery, uh, which is generally fairly tall. I do need to fill it with balm lilies, which just need to sit in chlorine, and then I need to have the top part accessible and full of hydrogen. Um, as you, we've seen with the uh, hatch farms, hatch farms are nice and easy. I will link up the top right hand corner um, how to automate them, which is something we'll, we'll do as we get there. Uh, but to get these up, guys up and running, I'm just going to need uh, liquids, gases. I'm going to need gas storage, which is over here. Um, and I'm going to need a gas filter, which is not in gases uh do we get it when we get liquid filters no gas filter oh we already got it well that explains why i can't find it okay uh close that so yeah i, I just need gas storage so we can like fill up a gas reservoir with chlorine to then empty the chlorine back out. Um, also means I can take any chlorine that gets in my way and just shove it in a container and ignore it. Um, see, I think we're going to do a Dreklet farm. Um, we could also, depending on whether we end up positive on food, which is not going to be right now, but hopefully in the not too distant future, we could also do a Dreko farm, uh, which we'll probably set up just in case. Uh, a Draco farm for glossy Dracos because they need mealwood. Um, but there's always a chance, there's a 2% chance 
that we get a glossy dracolet, uh, a glossy dracolet egg out of a normal draco anyway. So I probably set up the farm on the just in case we get one magically. If not, we'll probably have to breed one. But I think that's where we're going to leave this episode. We're up to ten dupes. We've found two cool slash geysers. We also have a uh, a who knows what over here. We're very close to the right hand side of the map. We're reasonably close to the left-hand side of the map. We still need to find out whatever is above us, which is, well, the answer is teleporter in and out. Uh, that's the receiver. That's the input. Okay. Uh, so that sends to the other planet. And then I believe down here... Uh, no, no, I thought we saw the edge of it. No. Ha-ha! The output. So we already know that uh, one is above us, one is below us. Oh, the other thing is mushrooms. Did we find... We found one mushroom. We could also do a mushroom farm down here. Like start coring out... What do mushrooms need? Uh, carbon dioxide and slime. Slime we can do. Um, yeah, we could do... We could wall this in, burrow this out, fill this up with CO2 and do a mushroom farm right here. Uh, what's their temp range? Uh, 5 to 35, so a little bit more hardy than mealwood. Um, yeah, semi-perfect. It's a little bit warm on one side, but you know, we could probably work with that. Uh, yeah, it's 45. That, that bio might be a little bit too warm. All right. Well, either way, I'm going to leave this episode here. We've got a plan for next episode. So with all that said, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, do hope you've enjoyed. And finally, say hi to your mum for me. All right, that's it. We're out. Bye.